Hello and welcome to Inkscape for Teachers. In this tutorial I'll be showing you how you can create a custom palette that uh, can be placed down at the bottom of the screen here in place of the default uh, palette colours. You can see these are quite comprehensive. If I drag along there are a ton of colours there. You may not want all those. You might want to customise set, reduce set perhaps for a particular project. I'll show you how you can do that. First you need to decide on your colours. I'll create a rectangle and control shift is drag out a square Let's fill that with red, select tool, control D to duplicate that, control D again, and let's make that one the uh, bright green and that one the uh, brighter blue. If I click on this, under the fill and stroke tab, select the fill tab, control shift F if you need to bring that up. Now I often use the HSL tab for adjusting my colours, but you must use the RGB one. That tells you the amount of red, green and blue. Obviously the red is 255 being the maximum number. If I click on that one, that's the green 255. And that one, that's the blue 255. But uh, if I wanted to change those, let's go back to this. And let's say I wanted to uh, change this colour. Looking change in the HSL tab if you want. If I want to make that a bit of a darker red. Dirty dark red. I want to make that green a bit lighter, say. Or if I want to make this blue a different shade, I could drag that... Uh, almost a purple there, so right, maybe to that. Not great colours perhaps, but uh, they'll do for the point of this exercise. Now, let's say I was using those three colours in a project. On the RGB tab, click on that and note the 162 or the 152, 255, 152 for that particular green or the blue, note its values, R, G and B. I'd write those down or um, type them out, whatever. Once you've decided on that, we need to adjust a particular file and that's in the Inkscape Share Palettes directory. I'll minimise this and show you how to find that. It'll vary from operating system to operating system or even perhaps from PC to PC. But I'll start with this PC and find C drive. I'm using Windows 10. Then Programs. Then Inkscape. And then Share. And finally the Palettes subdirectory. Now you will have possibly different icons here because I've associated GPL which I think stands for Global Palettes Files. Uh, I've associated them with a particular text editor. You may not have that. Now if you want to see how these files operate you can create a new one later or perhaps create a new one based on one of these. For example I've created this one but I'll open it up. Um, you may need to right click and select open with. Now I'm using edit pad light, you could use notepad. They don't appear, which they may not, because I've already established these as possible programs for this file. Select choose another app and if you don't see what you want there, select either more apps and scroll down till you find something. Um, you know, it might be wordpad, might be notepad, whatever. If you can't see it in the list you can click on look for another app on this PC and either in programs or go up a level to the other programs file if I can uh, yeah programs x86 in one of these two directories there'll be uh, various programs and you can uh, navigate and find that you might have to do a search for where the exe file is the notepad or whatever but I'll cancel out of that actually I'll go back into it and show you what uh, you should tick open with choose another app once you've found it in this list, let's, let's just say it was on um, Notepad, for example. Check this box, always open, uh, use this app to open the files. Makes it a bit quicker. You can always change it later on. But um, anyway, look, now I might leave it on Editpad Light and just go OK. Once you've associated those files, it'll open up in that uh, uh, program and you can edit it. You must have this GIMP palette at this heading there. I tried to change that and it didn't work. This is the name you're going to give your palette. Uh, I think you can put anything in here. I think that's just a comment marker. Six rows. I'll talk about that later. And the syntax is just the uh, amount of red, then tab across, amount of green, and the amount of blue. And given a name, that's the name that will appear when you hover over the colour in the palette at the bottom of the screen later on. Once you've done the save, or if you've based it on an existing one, 
do a save as and give it another name so that you don't lose your original GPL file. Anyway, let's assume I've done all that and you've saved it in the Inkscape Share Palettes file. Close out of that. Uh, you'll have to restart Inkscape, so close Inkscape and start it up again. I imagine I've done that, uh, I've already set all this up. Now this tiny little arrow down here at the right of the palette, I didn't realise that existed for quite some time. Under here, there's the Inkscape default if you need to go back to it, but there's my new one, Jeff One. If I click that, now watch the palette at the bottom of the screen, it changes to the customised palette containing the colours that were detailed in that GPL file. And that's very handy. So now you can change objects, uh, might want an orange there, or this uh, colour, I might want that particular gold, and so on. Now there is another way you can access the colours if you don't want to change this uh, palette down here. You can go Control shift w and that opens up what's called the Global Swatches menu that contain these colours. When I talked about the six rows before, if I had enough colours it would actually occupy six rows uh, of these this width. I didn't have enough colours to force it to six rows though. And you can use this uh, swatches palette up here to select a different colour, whatever you want. So there are a couple of ways of uh, changing the palette. Th there is another video of mine on, um, I think it's local auto swatches, that you can set up colours. And under the fill and stroke here, uh, I'll click on this, you can add colours to a swatch there using that button there if I click on that and that colour is added but you can't use this this uh, area here to apply that colour to other shapes you'd have to change to the auto uh, palette under here I didn't realise what this was for for a while either auto and there I've only got the one colour in it now but uh, that's the subject of an earlier video which you're welcome to go and have a look at anyway I think I'll leave it there but as always thanks for watching